24's Mike Venner with sports. Welcome on in. It's time for sports again. And the women's basketball team has its eyes on a potential NCAA bid as they try to prop up their resume against a crosstown rival who would love nothing more than to spoil those plans. In round three of their rivalry matchup, Brooklyn Kalimes, Mercier's Ladies going head to head with Cleve Wright's Lady Knights, who are a one loss team. Number 12 of the country. First half, it's Gannon's Emma Wright sinking the wing three for Gannon. She had 17 points to lead the team in scoring. On the other end, Jay Boyd finding Mercier's prep grad Emily Chopin for the backdoor feed and finish. More from Chopin. Nicolette Arnold finding Shopes for the wing three. She had 13 points on the day, the local product. Gannon Sydney Mitchell hits on the pull up three from out front on the other end. She had 10 and 26 25. Gannon leading late in the first half. Faith Williams beating the halftime buzzer. As she hits the corner, 3-33-32 game at the break. In the second, for Mercier's Jade Boyd trying to keep a minute here. Backing down the defender and scoring at the rim. She had 17 to lead the way for the Lakers. But the story of this one was the interior play for Gannon. Sam Perosco with 10 points, but West Middlesex grad Delaney Dogan taking over on the finish down low. Then another. She had 17 points and 10 rebounds as Gannon wins it 73-60 over Mercyhurst to sweep the three-game series this season. And Dogan wins the Game Changer Award for today's Perico Cup Pride of Erie rivalry game. It's, just, it's a great feeling. I mean, it just comes from our teammate, my, like my teammates. Um, we just believe in each other, and when we're giving it to the ball, whether it's an inside out or uh, the outside looking in, it's just we know it's our shot, and we just want the best for our team. Really happy with the way Delaney responded uh, to, way they, to the way they were defending us. I thought she did a great job staying on balance and really keeping her focus and, and finishing her shots, and she really wanted the ball. That's key. It's a 13 and one regular season for Gannon, who sweeps Mercier's with a 73-60 win, and they'll wait to see if they're a part of the NCAA tournament, as they hope their resume is good enough. District 10.